Last week I showed you the pontoon that I had bought and tore it all apart. In this week's video I'm installing the transom and cleaning up all the, the gunk and filth that was on the pontoons for the last 15 years. Here I've aligned the transom and drilled the holes. After I got the holes drilled in the transom, I took it off and was taking the back uh, old rotten wood out. I'm actually going to bring this to a metal fabricator and have them make me up uh, one out of aluminum instead. And here I got the pressure washer out and I'm spraying down all of our side rails and uh, cleaning the pontoon just a pre-clean here. Next I'm going to take a new product. I used a Star Bright Aluminum Cleaner and Restorer um, and seeing if I can't get all this uh, calcium and lime buildup that uh, has been sitting on these aluminum tubes for quite some time. This is a heavy duty acid product so it works pretty well. I just uh, It's caustic so you got to be careful using it. Um, it's not the cheapest stuff either. There was some cheaper stuff on Amazon or that, but I just happened to be in the store and this was on the shelf, so I picked some up. If you're interested in a more detailed uh, review of that Starbright cleaner, click on the link that pops up. Our little test spot here worked pretty well. Um, so I decided, well, we'll go around and do the whole rest of the boat uh, inside and out. And it took a couple, couple applications of this stuff to really get the year's worth of uh, buildup off of these tunes. But overall, I think uh, I think that Star Bright lived up to its name. It definitely brightened up the pontoons. One thing I will say with this though is make sure you have an uh, old pair of clothes. Um, you're going to want chemical resistant gloves and definitely some eye and face protection. And even though I was outside, uh, the fumes were pretty bad so I put on a respirator. And look at how nice this thing cleaned up. Definitely brightened up these pontoons. With everything cleaned up, I went back and bolted the transom in place and called it a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on the project as I go along, hit that subscribe button. Next week, I'll get the deck and the new vinyl floor installed. Thanks for watching.